How y'all doing? If you know me, y'all know I do a lot of videos about rednecks because I am the unofficial top black redneck probably in America. And I seen a video on the internet that bothered me a little bit about the intelligence of rednecks. So I said, you know what? Nah, we got to talk about this. Five things that prove and show to me that rednecks are highly intelligent away from the stereotypes. Number one, Jeff Foxworthy. Now, I know a lot of y'all might be like, what does Jeff Foxworthy got to do with intelligence and intellect? But a self-proclaimed redneck took a joke and an idea and turned that into a redneck conglomerate. If somebody else takes a joke and turn it into a studio and movies and shows and a national comedy tour that's been going on for 20 plus years, they'll be labeled one of the greatest entertainers of their time. But because Jeff Foxworthy calls himself a redneck, it has an asterisk by his name, and I don't appreciate that. That takes intelligence, that takes consistency, and that takes take some know it all it's more than just you might be a redneck if you might be a redneck if you can get rich and stay rich as hell forever number two a redneck's ability to understand the importance of a family structure. If you are familiar with the redneck culture, then you've been around a multitude of families where everybody seemingly knows everyone, and a lot of separation don't happen. Arguments may happen, fights may happen, but that family unit stays together. Why? Because the redneck culture understands the family structure. They understand the importance of staying together. This is probably why you see so many couples in upper ages still staying together, arguing with each other, and they guys are saying, you shut up, no, you shut up. But they stay on those rocking chairs, on those porches together, because they know one can't live without the other. The yo, one have nothing without the other. Number three, understanding without work, you do not eat. A lot of folks depend on other folks to survive and to provide. Whether it's government, whether it's borrowing, whether it's sleeping on somebody's couch, a lot of folks depend on others. But in the redneck culture, because they're intelligent, they tell their children from the time they are born that you gotta work. If you work, you eat. And what you earn, you keep. And you don't ever take from nobody, you don't steal from nobody, you work hard. Nobody's gonna give anything to you, you don't go take nothing. If you ask me, an unintelligent person would teach somebody how to scam and still and to be lazy and to get over on people now nah, intelligence is teaching those around you go work and earn your keep number four being the last to panic is intelligence there's a difference between being prepared and not panic and panicking because you're not prepared when you are prepared for a situation whether it's a natural disaster whether it's somebody breaking into your house whether it's your cattle dying when you are prepared for these situations when you can see into the future that's intelligence because you prepared yourself you did all the work you did all the study you did all the research and to research you got to have some sort of intelligence a person can't sit there look at a book close the book and not know what's going on if a redneck sit down and say a hurricane is coming and they prepare their homes and they prepare their vehicles and they're financially preparing for this situation then they are not panicking a lot of people say well that's a redneck he just tough they just ride through the storm no damn it they prepare they see the trajectory of the storm they know what they house can withstand they know what they got to do with their jobs and whatnot intelligence is preparing which lowers panic and number five the ability to recognize cultural differences accept them and move forward you will never hear a redneck arguing about being a redneck. If a person proclaims that they are a redneck, they know all the bases and the bias and the things that come with it. But when you run into somebody that's unintelligent, they're going to try to challenge you to change the way you see them in a narrative that's presented about them that they can't control. If you run into a real redneck and say, hey, listen, I heard this about you. Don't tell me what you heard. I can show you who I am. I can show you how to be. And then you can make your own judgment. I've yet to run into a redneck that's tried to convince me this ain't me. This ain't what it is. They've shown me who they are. But intelligence allows them to be who they are. They are not in denial about who they are because they're smart enough to understand what comes with being a redneck. Some of the smartest people in the world and I will not back down on this video.